Hey everybody and welcome back for another video. It's going to be a quick one. We are going up to check on the chickens right now and their uh, automatic feeder is starting to get a bit low so I'm going to be refilling that. And in the process I wanted to show you guys if you recall the storage compartments that I put on the nesting box. I wanted to show you how that turned out. Uh, as well, the kids want to go up and play with the chickens for a little bit so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys a bit of that. So what the kids are doing here now, they brought some buckets with them and we like to use those as little seats so that they can go in and visit the chickens. They sit down on their buckets and have a little visit. Alright, so one of the first things on the list, other than cleaning out the waterers, now that we're up here, is to refill the feeder. So what I've done, remember from the build, we had two storage containers, one on either side, and then the nesting boxes were in the middle. So I'll show you exactly what I've done since. So you'll notice right here, on the right side, this is a full 50 pound bag of feed and it fits perfectly into the storage container on the side. So I'm going to leave that in there, let the bag be its own liner. Brought a box knife. Make a simple opening like so. And we're ready to refill the feeder from here. So I just got a regular solo cup. I'm going to be filling this and then refill the uh, PVC auto feeder from this. All right, so here we are. We got the automatic PVC feeder, the top of the pipe. I'm just going to unscrew the cap. Alright, and we're just going to take the cups of feed right on in.
and there we are. That is the automatic feeder filled up right to the top. We'll replace replace the cap. And that part of today's job is complete. So for this second water that you see here, and I've shown it in a previous video, but I've taken a protein bucket, drilled some holes in it, and installed these two watering cups. And if you're familiar with these cups, the way they work is the chickens pick the yellow stem, and it releases water down into the cup. Alright, same thing here. But they are getting some wood shavings into the cups, so the way I clean those out, Give it a little counterclockwise twist, and it comes off. Honey. Empty the cup, mm -hmm. and then I just kind of hold it underneath and put some water in there, wash it out. Go on back in, guys. All right, just kind of give it a few rinses. Alright, and that's it for that one. Repeat the process here. And then when your cup is nice and clean, put that back in place, and there we are. They can peck away and fill those up again. Alright, so one thing also I just thought of, I may not have shown you guys any video of the chickens using the automatic feeder, but um, obviously if I just refilled it, they've, they've used the whole pipe of food already. So I'll see if I can get some footage of him eating from it just to show you guys, but I can guarantee you the design, everything with it worked out excellently.
All right, so one more thing before we clue up at the chicken coop here. The kids have been working long and hard to train their chickens to be rock stars. All right, so I'm gonna hand in the pay to pay the band. And then we're gonna have a drum show. We're getting the stage set. And here comes the band. There you go, playing all your fan favorites, including the 80s. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> Don't forget the 90s. Don't forget the 90s. Including the top number one Billboard chart hits. It's been a long green road. <laughs> Oh, how the corn crumbles. Mm. Now we're doing the 50s. I think this is a, a cover from the, the nitty gritty dirt band. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so funny. Chicken, some food over here. This one might also be called There's a Hole in My Craw and I'm All Out of Grain. <laughs> there's a hole in my bucket. Yeah, is, is that what it is? A hole in my bucket? I think it's a hole in my craw and I'm all out of grain. I don't even need a craw. Yeah, it and be. even the might make the. Oh, and even there's. And even their tail loud. You lost them. Here's, okay. here's the fly he was looking for. Alright, the layer. He's chasing it. I'm trying to take my boots. Alright, so that's just a short little video for you guys to come along during one of the daily chores of checking in on the chickens and uh, changing their waterers, checking their feed. And uh, we got the added bonus of showing you how we fill up the automatic feeder, which they've already gone through a full pipe of feed. Um, these red watering cups that I showed you, we're looking to eventually switch over to those as the only source of water, since they're a bit cleaner than the uh, gravity-fed dish. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Still got both options there for them in the meantime. So, uh, yeah, just a quick little visit uh, to see you guys and give you some content for today. I hope you guys enjoyed our little update. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on otherwise. So I said, you know what, I'll show you guys how things are going, especially with the new storage box fitting a whole 50-pound bag of feed in there, which was uh, definitely an excellent discovery that it all worked out properly. So that's it for today. So until next time, hope you're happy. Hope you're healthy. Take care of each other. And peace out.